my name is Reve and my car match code is MLSC4 and today I drove a Subaru Impreza. The seats are comfortable. The first time I got in this car, I couldn't get over how comfortable these seats were. The seats are really comfortable. I'm gonna write that down. Driver's seat, comfortable five. And there's a lot of room. Even in the back, the seats mm -hmm. are just really comfortable. They are, you kind of just sink into them. Um, your back feels very supportive. Um, and the seats, they're just great. Okay, how's the leg room back there, Kim? Oh, there's like a foot. Oh, a foot? Yeah. That's as far, that's how far up you drive? She's a woman. Yeah. I mean, probably right here more. It, it has nothing to do women with Women drive her... really close. Should I drive like this? <laughs> <laughs> Money, power, respect! Money, power, respect in the Subaru! I like the way the car drove. Uh, it was relatively smooth, handled potholes well. The turning and the maneuverability of the car was really good. Higher depth. It's right here. Oh boy. It turns good. The car turns good, you don't. Well, I'm trying to <laughs> test it, okay? Yeah, the brakes aren't like super, super touchy. They're not like the where you touch them, it feels like you're jolting forward. Yep. Um, it took a while to pick up. It wasn't really great on picking up, but um, other than that, it, for just driving around the city, it, it was a great ride, a smooth ride for sure. This car does make it easy to speed though. Yeah, I mean, you're doing 20 over, so. <laughs> uh, the first thing I always wanna know is if the radio works, if it's easy to use while we're driving. It's time for the moment of truth. Can we jam in this car? The moment you've all been waiting for. It's time for the Rebe Radio Test. Put your hands in the air, guys. There's no bass. It's pretty basic, pretty simple, but it was still a little tricky to kind of figure out. Yep, there you go. There you go. Now we're cooking. That's the bass all the way up. Okay, it's it's okay. Well, you're not buying this car for the radio. No. But it's us. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely jam in this car. It's definitely on the scale of one to a jam out car. It's probably a six. Define jamming. <laughs> um, jamming would be like racking out, you know? Okay, you can, <laughs> yeah, you can like... fist pump in the car. You know, you can feel the music going through your veins. Just you jam. You have to feel it you gotta be inside able to feel it if your you can't... heart and your blood. Exactly. Right. If you can't feel it deep down inside of you, then you can't jam out. See, here's my thing, is I like to drive sometimes with my arms like here and my hands on the lower part of the steering wheel and I feel like a dinosaur. Like meh. Like a solid resting <laughs> position before like, you start this. <laughs> <laughs> um, the controls on the air conditioning were really easy to use as well. Um, I did notice that when I was sitting in the back seat though, you didn't really feel the air unless it was on full blast. Another thing I really liked about this car is all the storage it has within the car. Not only does it have two cup holders here and two cup holders in the door, but it also has this little slot, which I can show you. Um, you can put your cell phone here, and then in here, it's got your USB and your aux cords with like the spot for the cord to come out, and then, oh, oh they're down here. Yeah. Oh, I wish we were, that's yeah. So and then here's the, here's the outputs right here where your cords oh, come Oh, that's smart. They thought through this really well where your phone can sit here while it's all plugged in um, and everything kind of runs pretty smooth. I liked this cubby hole and I also really liked how um, when the car's running up here, it tells you um, the time, uh, the temperature outside, like how many miles till you're empty. But why is it telling you how fast you're, oh, 100 miles to the gallon, okay. So or 100 miles till you're empty. Till empty. Yeah, 100 right. miles to the gallon. <laughs> <laughs> but it did get fairly good gas mileage. Oh, there is a lot of room yeah, back here. There is. Um, lots of times in small cars, you don't feel like you can fit comfortably. It's definitely not a car that you want to take with five people on a long road trip. Um, I would take this car on a road trip with four people. I would take this car on a road trip with four people, especially considering the amount of trunk room it has. Mm -hmm. yes. You can fit all your bags in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look how much room is back there. <laughs> For a small car, sometimes uh, the trunk space is very minimal, or this um, right here is too narrow and you can't really like fit things in. And this is nice and wide. You're able to like push things all the way back. So you can definitely haul quite a bit of stuff. Um, I was definitely didn't really have any reservations about Subaru, but um, now that I've driven one, I definitely, um, definitely like this car and would definitely recommend it to um, people who like smaller cars um, for driving around town. And we're back, kids. Wow. Yay. All in one. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it.
did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray!